Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In today's video, we are going to explore a new tool that has been released recently called Hugging Chat. So Hugging Chat is an open source tool that and has been launched by Hugging Base of course and they are based on the same Llama model that was uh, released by Facebook or Meta you know, a few weeks back. And this is a very interesting tool in the current world where we have seen uh, models like GPT-3, 3.5 and 4 which are closed source models and on top of that people have seen chat GPT for example. Of course has a free version but has a premium version as well and it's very difficult to you know understand the architecture of this GPT models and then take it and train a similar model or similar conversational AI system or chatbot because those are closed source models. Okay. But with Hugging Chat, you know, you can set it up locally, you can train with the same architecture on your custom data or the data that you have. And that's why it is very instrumental in the context of open source community. So we have seen tools like Open Assistant, you know, earlier uh, by Yannick Kilcher and the team where we, where we saw that uh, how good that was, you know, in terms of generating text or responses. I also have a video about Open Assistant that you can find in the playlist of large language models. So today we are going to explore Hugging Chat. So if you see Hugging Chat is available as huggingface.co slash chat and the uh, interface kind of looks very similar to chat GPT. You know, they have a left hand side where they say says a new chat and they have uh, some options like changing the theme to dark and they have some information which are very valuable in this case because they are the current model is the same open assistant uh, Llama 30V models, 30V trainable parameters. So Llama has released four different uh, models of having four different uh, weights of trainable parameters there starting from 7B and you see they are using this uh, Llama 30V by open assistant model. So if you come here on the hugging phase, you can find out the model cards which are available here. You can see their checkpoints, the uh, the weights path and everything you can download it in your local system and you can also use it completely set it up if you have a very high end uh, GPU machine. Uh, you need uh, some sort of virtual RAM to run this locally and uh, you, you can find that their documentation over here. Okay, so as I said this is an open source model so anybody on the internet can use this and if they want to use this for a development purposes not for the commercial purpose for using the, it for the commercial purposes you have to go through the licenses and you can find it out what are the clauses mentioned there in the document for my understanding and knowledge i think there are some clauses that you know uh, you have to be careful when you are using it for commercial purposes okay now if you see the database that has been used to train this which is again by open assistant data set that they have open assistant conversations data set oast1 it gives you the data set summary and uh, everything that you can find it over here some json examples of those uh, conversation tree etc and those are available again on the hugging phase different languages you know they have multiple languages here over guys you know and so if you if you see this hugging chat and you know, i will try to see what kind of responses we are getting it gives me an example like what you can ask let's ask a simple question for example uh, we'll test through different tasks the first task what i want to test if it can you know get data or you know, scrap data from some website for example and gives you uh, the information so i'm going on the wikipedia ai page for example okay artificial intelligence i will take this link and i will say can you give me a summary of this web page for example now this is my question or this is the prompt that I am making to hugging chat and let's see if we are getting the responses so it might take a little time depending on the bandwidth and the traffic that this site might be facing at this moment. It says sure artificial intelligence refers to the development of so you are getting the responses. Now let's let's do one thing. Let's copy the same prompt here and you can see we got a compact response here. I'll just copy the same con uh, this one. I'll just replace the artificial intelligence with something like AI anytime for example. AI anytime. And let's see if it hallucinates. Okay, I want to test out the hallucination of this model, you know, that hugging chat that is using. Because there is nothing called AI anytime, but I am assuming. I don't know if I search AI anytime Wikipedia. Is there something, a link or something? 
No, there is nothing like that. So let's hit this. Okay. Can you give me a summary of this web page? You know, AI anytime. Suddenly, AI anytime appears to be a phrase used by IBM to describe the reason for incorporating artificial intelligence into all aspects of this. So you understood where I am going, guys, right, with this tool. So I ask this uh, query or I make this prompt. When I make this prompt, and you know that this link is not correct. Okay, it's an incorrect link because there is nothing called AI anytime on Wikipedia or the wiki pages, but it's still giving you some response. So when you are using this model, you are building some conversational AI system, you have to be uh, little attentive to validate if the models are hallucinating, if it's giving you information. It's nothing wrong, by the way. The model still generates text based on the uh, URL or the uh, keywords, the terminologies that we have, you know, put it here. You see AI anytime. So based on AI anytime, it's not finding it, finding AI anywhere that's available on Wikipedia. So it gives you the nearest response. So if you come over here, you see they will have AI anywhere or something. So if I search AI anywhere, for example, so they have automation anywhere and they would have AI anywhere somewhere then it's getting the response. That's the first response I wanted. Now what I will do, I will come back here on this page and maybe let's go to uh, let's go to YouTube for example and on YouTube what I will do, I'll take uh, this now for the last look this YouTube video and I'll say can you give me insights from this video now I'm seeing if this has capability to go and take videos from internet or YouTube for example if they have some systems like that because you know most of the uh, conversational AI system don't have that Okay, for example, I was we also tested a uh, cloud from Anthropic and Chat GPT recently, but you know GPT four would might would have. Okay, we have to test this out. But you see, it says apologies, but without additional context regarding which video and timestamp you would like me to analyze, I cannot offer meaningful insights. So not able to connect with YouTube and and uh, giving you the insights or extracting the information from those uh, uh, videos available. Okay, it's not giving you that. So let's ask some generic question. What are the Okay, let's see if we can, so can you, uh, for example, can you, can you tell me the procedure, can you tell me the procedure of generating, or of, of procedure of the, uh, procedure of making a bomb? Now, this is my question. I'm just seeing the, uh, if they have some censored word or if this, looking at this consideration but before we began to ask why you are interested in creating explosive are you planning to use them in your work as a chemist or engineer or maybe you are trying to launch a new career as a professional mm, very interesting guys uh, let's use lines with legal and moral guidelines so it's looking at a little bit on the responsibility side okay and let's ensure that it aligns with legal and moral guidelines for safe experimentation a smaller it can lead to serious harm this is interesting. Let's ask one more question here. Okay, to hugging chat. And in this question, I will ask. Um, uh, let's ask the difference. So, what do you mean by uh, what do you mean by quantum machine learning, for example? They, they also have a stop generating option. If you can st stop the text generation, you can click here, share this conversation. They are not accepting any feedback at this moment, if I can see. And it, it has a retry option where you can retry the content by any chance if you lost network or something. So it's giving you quantum computing, you just quantum bits and quantum gates that operate according to principles derived from quantum physics and open an assistant knowledge base for more on this topic so they do have uh, so it's suggesting you some link etc which might be available while they train this model so the interface looks similar guys so it's a good start you know at least in the open source community because we need these models like open assistant has and uh, you know hugging chat has built on top of that the llamas model you know i think it's 
it's going to be like a fight from the open source community to the, this closed source model or this GPT model that you see uh, it's all closed source and there have been serious discussions about generative AI and the future uh, future scope of artificial intelligence that uh, is this technology going to in the capitalism ha uh, hand you know only the capitalist will rule with this technology because we need this sort of open source model okay, uh, to try it out so please try this out huggingface.co uh, uh, slash chat the hugging chat uh, a conversational AI system you know, based on generative AI models so based on large language models rather so no, I have tried it for multiple yeah, questionnaires and I'm using it. So you can find this data set on Hugging Face Open Assistant and you can also look at uh, the model checkpoints which is available here on this Open Assistant uh, Lama 30B. You can find it over here and I'll share the link in the description guys. I'll also share the link of Hugging Chat if you haven't tried yet, if you haven't uh, uh, have your hands dirty with this tool you know you can try this out and that's all for today's videos guys if you like the video if you like the content please uh, hit the thumbs up icon and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel and please share the video with your friends and to peer thank you so much for watching this video guys see you in the next video